once again. This is Apostolic Broadcast, Arise 5. Приветствую всех. Это апостольское вещание, служение Rise 5. Uh, this is for Russia. My name is Ron Saka. Для России. Меня зовут Ron Saka. And our translator on Skype is Elena. И наш переводчик по Skype Елена. And, uh, amen. Every time so far we've begun by blowing the shofar, I want to do it again. We're declaring a breakthrough in the heavenlies. Amen. There's no magic in it. There's no power in the shofar itself. Of course not. <laughs> but it's, um, uh, well, actually, we're, since we were, we're talking about reasons why we teach, why we must teach on the apostolic, it's really illustrates point number five, which I will say right now. Because, see, we teach, we must teach in the apostolic, reason number five, is so that people will be established in present truth. Итак, пятая причина, по которой мы должны учить об апостольстве, состоит в том, чтобы люди утверждались в настоящей истине. And, uh, and that uh, is 2 Peter 1, verse uh, 12. Об этом говорится во втором послании Петра, первая глава, 12 стих. And so, because you can't live in past truth. You cannot live in that. Потому что... Because God is always moving ahead. Now he, he, God, God has been restoring truth and, and then we receive that and we keep it. We never lose it. Must never lose it, of course. Бог останавливает истину. И когда она становится открыта для нас, мы никогда не должны ее терять, не должны ее упускать. But we build, but we must follow the Lord because He will build upon that foundation. He just keeps building, building, building. Но мы должны следовать за Господом, который строит uh, это основание. And so, this thing about the shofar, that's, that's like a, a, a present truth. Поэтому вот uh, эта истина о том, чтобы трубить в шафар, это настоящая истина, то есть истина, которая открывается в настоящее время. Now the shofar, see, we've been, it's been around for a long time, but you know, in the last few years, it's like, wow, it's exponentially increased. Но uh, шафар uh, существует уже очень долгое время, но только последние годы uh, это стало uh, uh, как-то больше, больше мы стали больше это понимать. I started teaching about it, and then uh, all of a sudden, uh, then, I, then I began to realize others are teaching about it. And I thought, whoa, thank you, Lord, I am part of your present truth. И я начал учить об этом, и потом я узнал, что и другие тоже учат о шафаре. И я сказал, спасибо тебе, Господь, за то, что я являюсь частью провозглашения этой настоящей истины. Now this verse, uh, 2 Peter uh, chapter 1, verse 12, he, when he said, I, I want you to be established in present truth, and then... Итак, 
Go ahead. And then he says, and then to verse 13, to stir you up by reminding you. So whenever, uh, go ahead. In other words, whenever we start teaching what God is doing now, people, it, it, their heart really will get stirred. То есть, uh, другими словами, когда мы начинаем учить о том, что Бог делает сейчас, в настоящее время, and, сердца людей начинают откликаться. На and then the Lord will begin, you know, uh, begin speaking to them. They'll begin hearing the Lord in so many different ways. И тогда люди uh, начинают слышать uh, Господа самыми различными способами. And, and then they will be open for miracles. So there's when we do MPP almost every morning, morning prophetic prayer, and we always blow the shofar. And it's like it opens the heavens. Now, I'm reminded to tell you a story that happened to me uh, actually a year ago, a little bit over a year ago. I was in another country and I was uh, they, they doing meetings and they delayed me and delayed me and delayed me. So our departure for the airport was very late. And then to make it worse, it was incredible traffic jam. I asked the driver how many kilometers to the airport. He said it's almost a hundred. Oh. И я спросил водителя, сколько еще ехать до аэропорта, и он сказал около ста километров. And I knew there's no way we're gonna make it on time. И я знал, что мы, ну совершенно невозможно было, чтобы мы успели на рейс. So I texted my friends in Malaysia, and they began и... to blow the shofar in Malaysia. Тогда but I was in я another country. Послал сообщения своим друзьям в Малайзии, и они начали трубить в шафар. So, of course, they were texting back and forth to me, you know. Но они мне тоже сообщения uh, посылали. And almost immediately the road began to open up. И практически сразу движение стало ускоряться, and, высвободился путь для нас. And it would, it would, then the traffic would get bad again, I'd text them again, they'd blow it again, the road would open up again. И затем через какое-то время снова возникла пробка на дороге. И uh, я опять отправил своим друзьям послание, они начали трубить в шафар, и опять uh, движение улучшилось. I don't know how we made it on time, but we did. Я не знаю, как мы успели вовремя uh, к рейсу, но мы успели. <laughs> And then... Uh, two months later, a team in Japan was trying to get to the airport to go to an important meeting. There was a snowfall and everything was delayed. All the traffic was backed up, the trains were delayed. The, the team remembered this story. They called their friend, please blow the shofar for us. 
They did, yeah. and they all Это arrived она... on time. Она знала мою историю, и uh, они позвонили своим друзьям и сказали, пожалуйста, трубите в шафар. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Listen. И We're gonna close. Они, uh, I'm gonna blow the shofar one more time. Right. If you need a breakthrough, you're going to get a breakthrough now. So, so put your faith on, I'm going to blow the shofar for you. If you have a shofar, blow it with me. for you. Hallelujah. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please put it in the comment section or send us an email. Uh, in Russian, of course, and the address is R U S arise at gmail.com. R U S arise, Thank you. Bye.